Dom, great to talk to you. We'll speak about the new manager in a sec, but first of all, how's your first few weeks of transition been ahead of formally taking over as chief executive on the 1st of July? Well, I, I couldn't be more proud to join Celtic Football Club. It's an incredible club, a club very close to my heart and close to the hearts of many millions of people in Scotland and around the world. So the transition over the last four and a half, five weeks has been great. I've got a chance to meet some of the team here at Celtic, both at Celtic Park and of course up at Lennox Town. And the passion that people have for, for this great club is really impressive. So my job when I start on the 1st of July is to lead this great club and, and bring us uh, back to success. We have a new manager, Ange Postacoglu. What makes him the best candidate for the job? I'm delighted that we've managed to secure Ange as the new manager for Celtic Football Club. Ange is an outstanding leader and an outstanding manager. And uh, in all my discussions with him to date, I've been really impressed by his enthusiasm for Celtic his keenness to work with me to help modernise and develop both the footballing structures, but also the non-footballing structures to make sure that we are at the successful club that we need to be for the, the generation ahead. His experience at the international level, having taken Australia to World Cups, hugely impressive. His experience of winning both in Australia and winning in Japan, massively impressive. So um, I'm really excited about securing a winner and securing someone that really wants to drive forward at the club in a way that everyone I think will be really proud about. You speak about his vision, what do you see as his vision for the team going forward and, and how does that align with your own vision for the club? Well we have a shared vision and that was really important to me to make sure that we could have a new manager who bought into the modernising, the evolution, the development of the club both on and off the field, both in terms of his style of play, I think he will excite the fans in terms of his communication, I think he'll be great in terms of engaging with supporters and importantly, his philosophy, which is born out of experience at the international level, going through World Cups, but also in winning competitions. I wanted a winner, and I'm delighted that we've managed to secure Ange. We've obviously spoken to Ange through the power of technology halfway across the world, but when can Celtic fans expect to see him here? Well, we've got the, the challenges of the COVID environment, which everyone is, is dealing with at the moment. And as soon as we possibly can get Ange into the country, he, he's keen to meet up with the team and start working, rebuilding the squad. Uh, for, for the, the, uh, the seasons ahead. So it'll be a little bit of time yet, but um, uh, you can rest assured that people are moving heaven and earth to get them into the country as quickly as we possibly can. You speak about the modernisation at the club that you, that you want to see in place. How does Ange fit into that wider football development that you want to see? Well, one of the things that I've been doing over the last few weeks as part of the transition is speaking with as many people as I can across the whole club, from top to bottom, getting a sense of the, the challenges that we face, but also the opportunities. And there's no doubt that there's been some incredible work done, as is evidenced by, by Peter and the whole exec team and all the staff in creating unprecedented success in the last number of years. We've had a disappointing season, of course we have. My challenge now is to pick everyone back up again and get us focused in the, in the, in the years ahead. And to do that, like all high performance environments, you need to evolve, whether that's in the football side, whether that's in the academy side, whether that's in the business side, that's, that's my mission is to make sure we start evolving all the areas that we need to evolve to, and building on the, the solid platform to make sure this club remains as successful as it, as it deserves to be for the years ahead. Some big fixtures coming up very soon. Dom, so Ange obviously will want to, to hit the ground running. What areas in particular have you been working on already with him? Well, we spent a lot of time chatting through the playing side, the coaching side, the footballing operations side. Um, it would be fair to say that um, his phone's been busy over the last number of, number of weeks um, and I'm excited that we are uh, getting information across to him to make uh, decisions and give us some feedback on uh, all the various aspects that you would expect us to be considering ahead of the new season. Talking about recruitment in particular, talking about the plans for the season ahead, so we're very active in that regard. Um, so we know that there's um, some important fixtures coming up, so we need to make sure that the team is in the best shape it can be. So I I'm sure Andrew will share more information with the Celtic support as soon as we can. What would your message be to the, to the supporters who, after a disappointing season, are now feeling more positive and ready to welcome Ange? It's a huge thank you to every single supporter that has supported us and invested in season tickets over the last year and that are doing so again in the year ahead because there's nothing like being at Celtic Park to enjoy the, the noise, the camaraderie, the fun of being back in this wonderful building and the team thrive off that, the coaches thrive off that and uh, the, the strength of this club is about unity and I'm really excited about the opportunity for supporters to get back in and watch and back their team in the, the season ahead.